I don't think I can make it to the top. Good morning, you guys. Today, we are in Krabby, Thailand, which as you guys know, if you've seen any of our vlogs, literally here and here, and anything else. <laughs> we are in our favorite place in the entire world. Today we're actually going to a temple that we've never been to before, mostly because we were too busy enjoying the beach last time. But this time we're going with our two really, really good friends and showing them A, the scooter ride of a lifetime, and B, a beautiful temple at the top of a mountain. So I've already made us like 45 minutes late, so let's go. Breakfast of champions. You can smell the spicy from outside of the actual container. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and dig into these, and then we're gonna see you guys at the Tiger Temple. So we have made it to the base of the Tiger Temple. The ride here was incredible. A little sketchy at points because they're doing construction on some of the highways. So we were like going through like main Thai highways and it was like everyone slowed down really fast. But outside of that it was golden. Yeah. Also guys, on the way here you can see the golden like temple up at the top. Man that cliff looks so tall. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't look like, you know, like a nice little hill up mountain. No, it's like cliffside temple. So. Yeah, it's about to be painful. I may have like rock hard quads after this. I may just like sign up for one of those bikini competitions <laughs> on a diet of nothing but pad thai and temple coughing. Right. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna figure out where this entrance is yeah. and go from there. That's a proper plane. How cool. Look at those propellers. I don't know if I feel super safe in it, but it could work, especially with these windows right here. Excellent visibility. The way up. So we have made it to Tiger Temple. Tiger Temple is at the very, very top of eight 237 meter hill and it is 1,237 steps all the way to the top. The temple was built in 1975 by a monk that would come here to worship and it was actually named after Tiger Temple because allegedly he saw a tiger up here but more likely due to the fact that inside one of the caves they were able to find tigers paw prints. One of the coolest things that you can find in Tiger Temple is the fact that a team of archaeologists found one of Buddha's footprints and created a mold casting of it. So we'll be able to see that inside. Beyond going all the way to the top of the mountain, on the way up there's tons of natural caves and an old rainforest that goes all along the top. So make sure you come here early in the morning before the crowds get here. We're here at 9.30 and it's pretty nice and empty, but now we're gonna go into a cave and explore. There isn't a lot in here. Oh, little baby. That was it. We're done. Going back home now. <laughs> These are the steps. Wish us luck. Boots for days. So everything online said don't look up and don't look down. Just look forward and keep going. There's a reason for that. <laughs> Follow those instructions because these steps are probably what? Maybe like a foot high? Yeah. And then when you're looking up, you kind of get a little discouraged knowing that like, I'm only an eighth of the way through, but we're gonna keep on trekking. We just gotta take it a little slower because I do have a heart condition and uh, I can't get my heart rate up too quick, too fast. Hey guys, it's really, really hot. And nice. Annette and I have come to the conclusion that I'm going to teach her how to do Ebonics. So today's like, thing is what? Ka, this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do it right? No. <laughs> it seems so forced. Was I supposed to move? Good. Cause I ain't. The nice thing about this little like 
stairwell hike thing is that every now and then you can stop and there's like a lookout it just so happens that the lookout is in like the middle of the sun but it could be worse it could be raining and i'm not calling that upon us today but you get these really sick views <laughs> of like the palm tree fields of the mountains in the background you can kind of see where the ocean is in the distance and there's this huge shetty which is like the the long pointy things that are on temples and we're almost to eye level to the tippy top of that really giant one that we showed you in the beginning. I feel pretty dang accomplished. Although the problem is that that top of that shetty isn't even like a quarter of the way up to the Tiger Cave Temple. But y'all, my glutes and quads are gonna be rocking it. I'm gonna be eating vegetables today. I am so sweaty that I can't even keep my glasses on because they keep slipping forward off my face. <laughs> And everyone says it looks like I tried taking an unsuccessful sexy shower in my shirt. I think he was pretty successful. You're so hot. So if you guys saw our Savannah vlog, we went to go visit Donye where he used to live. You can see that up here. I told you guys that they sold all of their stuff to travel the world and they're using the stuff that we're teaching in Worker to Wander. So if you want to be like them, dying on the way to the top of a really badass temple, make sure that you click up here or the link down there, or write it in the comment section, or hit us up on Instagram so that you can join us and learn how to travel the world full time. Cause it's awesome and you'll have glutes and quads of steel. Wow, it's been a long time since I've slept this much. If you guys are coming to Thailand and you're planning on doing this hike, it's a really good hike and it has a lot of beautiful views. You need to train. We are so out of shape and I feel like we have to stop every like five minutes just because we're like <clears throat> I can't breathe but we're gonna make it there are little girls passing us which does not make me feel any better about myself this is probably one of the steepest hikes I've ever done 100%. and literally as you walk up they have these random systems because apparently there's like bathrooms and water at the top of this thing and they have like pulley systems to get everything up the sides. That way they don't actually have to walk it up. Can someone tell me how the hell they got a Buddha, a temple, and bathrooms up there? A hundred percent. I haven't even seen it. And just getting up to it, the feat that they built something up there is incredible. <sighs> but everyone that we keep passing says the view's worth it. Oh, we're gonna keep going. Oh, I just hit my shin. You can do it, guys. Guys, almost there. You can do it. Almost there. Yeah, I'm ready. Don't touch the power lines. Also, don't look down if you're afraid of heights. So when I started off the hike, my poor dear friends had to deal with my bad attitude because I was just like, I'm out of shape, it's hot. We're not even halfway there. But the endorphins have hit and I'm freaking pumped. Yeah! Remember that nonsense I was talking about endorphins? Yeah, that's fake news. But we're almost there. I think we're on number 1,220. 10 more steps to go. Home stretch. Yes! We made it! Oh, never doing that hike again. Beautiful. So we have made it up to like where the top of the temple plateaus and here they've got like an undercover seating area where you can get some water for drinking and you have this beautiful lookout over to my right and we've literally had to put our bags on the ground in the sun so that way they can dry because they are so wet. Just in case you were wondering, this isn't from a shower. That is sweat. <laughs> but, Yum. Uh, so I think now we're actually gonna go explore the temple and I'm so excited. <laughs> And we have made it to the top. I have to be quiet because everybody else is being quiet and I don't want to be that one rude American. But this is the Buddha. It was built in 1975. I'm not quite sure how anybody got any of this up here because it's a lot of work. And that was a lot of steps. But I will say guys, it's worth it. I know that we are totally negative Nancy's with how difficult the hike is because it is. So bring like 
I recommend at least three liters of water, like two of those one and a half liter bottles. You can refill them once you get up here, but like you need to get up here before then. But the view is incredible. You can actually see like all of the cliffs from Onang and Rayleigh, and you can just see like this beautiful drop off of palm trees. And it, we came on a really sunny day. This is perfect. Our weather could not have been more perfect for this day. This temple is so cool. Literally, as you're walking around, you see people like praying, making some offerings and things like that. And you really have all kinds of travelers that have just done the hike up here. Yeah, and also another part that's really cool that you don't even realize until you get up is like, everybody up here made the hike to get up here. Yeah. You know, so like you walk around with like mad respect for these people because that is a hard hike. Yeah, 100%. But guys, there's so many beautiful views. There are, there's like literally four, maybe four different spots that you can go to and catch some crazy views. I'll put some of them up, up here. Hashtag views for days. <laughs> exactly. Well, on that note, friends, we are going to go ahead and eat put everything away and, and go eat. <laughs> well, we have to leave, then eat. Yeah, which maybe a 20, a hike, 20, I'm maybe. delusional and hungry. We're so tired after that hike. If you guys are doing this, bring water. really make sure you're prepared. Bring water, coconut water, and Snacks. plenty of sunscreen. Sunscreen, <laughs> important. All right, guys, make sure that you give this video a like, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so that way you guys can see all of our adventures as they come live to you. Comment below, follow us on Instagram because you'll be able to see live Instagram stories every single day, live, y'all. So go check it out. Just in case you're wondering, they're gonna be live. Just in case you missed it, live, one more time. <laughs> anyway, see you on the next adventure. Now they're getting back